Good morning, sweet home. Today is Wednesday, March 29th, and it is a day one. My name is Milan Hill, and here are today's morning announcements. Attention seniors, we want to celebrate your future plans. Whether you are planning to attend college, learn a trade, or take some time off, scan the QR code to fill out the form. Post will begin next week. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Sweet Home Seniors 2023 so you don't miss a post. Sweetum High School will go bald for bucks April 28th. You can grow a beard and shave it. You can get your hair changed to a different style. If you can cut 8 inches and donate it, or just go completely bald. If interested, set up an account on the team page at baldforbucks.org. Student government is looking for student designs to represent the student section of the football field bleachers with a weatherproof banner. All designs must be submitted by Friday, March 31st. Send all artwork to Mrs. Bruce. If your artwork is chosen, you could win a $100 Amazon gift card. Sweden was celebrating Earth Day this year. If you are interested in purchasing an Earth Day t-shirt to wear on Friday, April 21st, please scan the QR code. If any issues, contact Nigel Tigiri. Do you need a moment of quiet reflection at the end of the day? Join Mrs. Basar in room 313 Monday through Thursday from 206 to 230 for guided meditation. Ramadan is beginning at sundown on Wednesday with Thursday being the first full day of fasting. Here are two phrases you can say to our Muslim colleagues and students. Ramadan Kareem, which means generous Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak, which means blessed Ramadan. Maynard was one of the first black female reporters to work for the New York Times. Nancy was born in 1946 and grew up in New York City. She graduated from Long Island University in 1966 and two years later went to work for the New York Times. Nancy later founded her own institution with her husband in 1978. The goal of the institute was to create a safe place for people of color to share their ideas and form bonds through their love of journalism. Nancy believed that this institute would not only create more jobs for people of color who were interested in the field of media, but also educate them in a way they never had been before. In 1983, Nancy and her husband purchased the Oakland Tribune and in 1989 won a Pulitzer Prize for their outstanding work. In 1998, she was awarded the National Association of Black Journalists Lifetime Achievement Award. Nancy Hicks famously wrote about race riots, school decentralization, the black student takeovers at Columbia and Cornell, the memorial for Robert F. Kennedy, and papers on Medicare and the Apollo missions. Nancy Hicks Maynard passed away on September 21, 2008 from multiple organ failure. Although she has passed on, a legacy is still left behind from all the work she has done. Her dedication to inclusivity of all races has changed the way journalism is perceived. Without her willingness for equality, our world would be completely different. 